I'm going to do a bronze look using the Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzing products. These products come in cream, liquids and powders. Now you can use each product individually or you can layer them. I'm going to show you how to layer them. I'm going to start by using the bronzing makeup base. This is a cream product. It can be used in many different ways. You can use it all over or if you've already got quite a good tan, you can use it just as a contour or just on certain areas of the face. I'm going to use the touch up brush and I'm going to swirl my brush into the product. Now I'm going to use it all over, so I'm going to make sure, because I'm naturally quite pale, that I take a lot of the product off first on the back of my hand. I don't want to overload the brush. This way I can build up gradually. So I'm just going to begin by buffing very, very gently onto the face. And the amount of product that you use really depends on how much of a tan you already have. I'm going to use it very lightly and subtly. You can also use it on the eyelids. And most importantly, don't forget to do your neck and all exposed skin. So neck, even ears and shoulders. Now I'm going to use Eclat Lumiere just underneath my eyes. Now if you need to do some other concealing on your face, a really good tip is to use your regular concealer on a brush and then mix it in with the bronzing makeup base that's left on your hand. This way you'll get coverage but it'll be the right colour and will blend in with your already tanned face. So really good for covering blemishes and evening out the skin. Now I'm going to use the sheer illuminating fluid. The best way to use this is just to put a little bit on the back of your hand and then using a foundation brush pick up the product before applying. This gorgeous illuminating and bronzing highlighter can be used on top of the bronzing makeup base or on its own. Best place to apply it is to the high point of the face. So all the places you want to catch the light, top of the cheekbones, brow bone, centre of the nose, and it also looks lovely on the top lip. Another tip of where to use it would be on arms, shoulders and legs. It really does look amazing on legs. Now I'm going to use the Moisturising Bronzing Powder. This comes in different shades for different skin tones. I'm going to use Terre Allee. Apply the product to the brush and again take off a little bit on the back of the hand. Start to build up the colour onto the cheeks and cheekbones. This also works really well as a contour, so you can bring it a little bit underneath your cheekbones to create definition. Take it up onto the temples in a C shape. Make sure all the movements are really big and sweeping. You don't want to end up with any harsh lines. Just keep buffing and building. You're aiming for a natural looking tan. Once you've done cheeks and temples, you can bring the bronzer slightly onto the forehead, along your jawline, across your eyelids, and don't forget down the centre of your neck, because this tends to be the palest part. To finish my look, I'm going to use some waterproof mascara, and then Rouge Coco Shine in Boy. So that's the finished look. The Soleil Tan de Chanel bronzing products are fantastic, either to use individually or to layer as I have here. I hope that was helpful.